A good friend of mine, whom I will not name, <coughs> Marcy, is one of the millions of us who are so anxious to lose weight and to do it in an easy way that we think we've found a miracle in diabetes drugs like Ozempic and Wigovi. I'm sure you're hearing about people taking it, and I'm sure you're hearing they're losing weight. But there's part of the story that you're not hearing, but is becoming more and more prevalent. Just this, store, this, this week, a new study shows Wigovi could not just be bad because it's meant for diabetes and not just weight loss, but lethal. So if that is the way our understanding is developing, because nobody's studied these drugs for weight loss, why are healthy weight loss companies like Weight Watchers and Noom pushing these pills and drugs on their clients? I thought they were about doing it the right way. Plunging stock prices could be part of the reason, but is this the way to get up your profits? Joining us now, the author of you know, a book about doing it the right way, Young Forever, and a senior advisor to the Cleveland Clinic Center of Functional Medicine, fittest guy I know, Dr. Mark Hyman. It's good to have you, Doc. <laughs> Hi, Chris. So this is good the research. Researchers in China, there goes 25% of my office uh, audience, China, <laughs> I don't believe them. But the researchers say uh, that... This class of drugs could cause, specifically with Wagovi, a person's small intestine to become enlarged, which puts them at a high risk of a potentially deadly obstruction in their digestive system. Um, what are they talking about? Well, Chris, you know, this is a drug that everybody's excited about, that thinks it's going to be a quick fix for weight loss, but it, there is no quick fix. And the truth is that this drug has not been studied more than two years. There are side effects that are now emerging that are concerning very much to me, including muscle loss, which is very serious, about 40% of the weight is muscle. And muscle is the currency of longevity and healthy health and aging. And if you don't have muscle, your metabolic health becomes poor and you regain the weight significantly. So there's a 65% uh, uh, increase in the, uh, 55% of the weight you'll regain pretty quickly. Now in China, what they're talking about is uh, st studies that look at long-term use, which we really haven't very much looked at, which show a four and a half times increased risk of intestinal obstruction because your intestine gets thicker and they can obstruct. And that's dangerous. And that, that can be life-threatening and kills 30,000 people a year, not from uh, Ozempic, but in general. And also it causes this, this incredible muscle loss, which I'm very concerned about. And that, that leads to poor metabolic health. So when we talk about using this drug, we're going down the wrong path. We're not focused on what needs to be done, which is to address the root causes of why we're overweight instead of looking for a quick fix. And it concerns me that Weight Watchers is now pushing yeah, this. That's what I was going to say is that people are listening yeah. to Hyman and they like him, but you know, he does it the hard way and I want it easy. And I'm hearing only great reports and Weight Watchers and Noom, two of the biggest names in the game, are now telling their clients, people, patients, you know, customers, whatever you want to call that's them. That's right. Uh, you should consider this option. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's it's a terrifying moment uh, because we have a crisis of poor metabolic health where 93% of us have poor metabolic health and some form of insulin resistance, prediabetes, and that is threatening our entire society from our competitiveness to our economy because of the healthcare costs. And when these companies are kind of looking for a way out, for getting customers, I, I think it's really a dangerous move because it misses the big issue, which is why are we having an obesity crisis in the first place? It's our food system. It's highly processed, highly addictive foods that are subsidized by our government, that are promoted in many ways by our government through $100 billion of food stamps, most of which is ultra-processed food, which is uh, not properly regulated through adequate food labeling, through updated dietary guidelines, through updated food stamp re regulations, it's, it's, it's kind of a mess. And if we don't deal with the real reason why we're so obese as a nation, we're not gonna solve this problem. And there is no quick fix, there is no miracle cure. Yes, you lose weight, but you might end up being in worse metabolic health at the end with a lower body composition, right. meaning you have lower muscle mass and more fat and a lower weight, which means your metabolism is slower and you will gain back the weight. So it's really, a, 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 really an experiment it's being done at a mass level now. Well, here's what we know about the experiment, Doc. drugs that are bad. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.